Hey you guys, welcome to Beyond Recognition Lifestyle. I'm Oprah Keys. Today I'm going to be sharing some extremely effective ways on how to maintain your weight loss success. We all know that losing weight is very hard. I mean, it's one of the hardest things you can do in life. You have to pay in taxes. Many people are successful with weight loss but only for short term. In fact, I found some astonishing statistics that show that most people who go on to get, uh, lose weight, they regain it in five years or less. In fact, after the first year, 80% will gain it back. After the second year, 85% will gain it back. And after the third year, 95% will gain it back. And for most people, they're gonna gain it back plus more. I don't want that to be you, and that is why I'm gonna be dripping some sauce on how to be the boss in this video. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so number one, we're gonna make sure that we continue to incorporate the foods we love. Changing your lifestyle doesn't mean that you have to give up the foods you crave. It does, however, mean that you should have it in moderation. For some people, they don't like the idea of restriction. I don't call it restriction, I actually call it protection protection from self-sabotage you worked so hard to get to where you are now don't give it all back because it feels good to eat until you fall asleep i mean i used to do that I'm, I'm, i used to be one of those ones but listen hear me out there's so many benefits that come with eating the foods that you love in moderation for example you'll notice that when you when you delay gratification on a day that you have that cheat meal it is going to taste so much better. And in the, in, in, the, in the long run, you'll notice that as you continue to delay that gratification, it's you who's in control, not the other way around. By not being a slave to impulsive eating, you open a door to a much more satisfying life. Number two, give yourself some credit. You need to have grace with yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself. You need to realize that what you're doing is bold. In a world that tells us it's okay to not look after ourselves, you are doing the complete opposite, you little rebel. <laughs> what you're doing takes courage. Now you need to get in that mirror and strike a pose. When it comes to gearing up for this marathon called life, you need to remember it's the small wins that add up over time. You're gonna fall sometimes, but that is okay. You're not supposed to be perfect. As long as you don't quit, it's okay to fall. When you give up, you're giving up on all the progress you've made and on, it, on, on you as a person, and, and that's the last thing you want. It's okay to crawl. It's okay to take it slow for a little bit, but as long as you keep that momentum going, it's okay. Like I said earlier, have grace with yourself. Things will get better. Number three, you are gonna want to make sure that you are planning your meals ahead of time, AKA meal prep. I like to do my meal prep on Sundays. That's my chill day. I'm not really working as hard and it's day before most people go back to work. It's easier to go grocery shopping in my opinion, especially if you go early, you can meal prep early and then you know get, to, get the rest of your errands out of the way if that's the case. But for me, I do think that if you just take, you just set one day to the side to measure all of your food, you know, get the right portions portions and everything that you need to make sure that you are all set for the week and so that you ultimately save time, money, energy, and also you save yourself the headache of just, you know, falling short of your weight loss goals because you had to stop at Wawa or some type of convenience store to get a, a snack and the next, next thing you know, you, you're buying a hoagie, chips, dips, you know. But we're planning for success. And my favorite, one of my favorite sayings is fail to, fail to, fail to, fail to, fail to, <laughs> fail to plan and plan to fail. And when it comes to meals and sustaining your, uh, your, and um, maintaining your weight loss, long-term meal planning is definitely one of the keys. Number four, you're going to want to make sure that you are consuming enough water. I personally drink a gallon of water a day. I have my gallon jug. Come on, come on. You guys need to tap in. It's 2023. You need to get you a gallon jug. I'm almost done for the day. Actually, I might take a sip on camera because I'm cool like that. Mm. It's become inc incredibly easy for me to down a gallon and 
at this point it almost feels effortless because I'm so used to it. But I know for a lot of people, they can't stand the idea of thinking a lot of word because it feels like a, a task. And I, I get that, but it's something that will really aid you in terms of maintaining your weight loss success and also just, you know, losing additional weight if that's what you want. There are so many benefits to drinking water, especially when it comes to weight loss. Here are some ways that water can aid you in your journey to losing weight and keeping it off. Number one, water can act as a natural, a natural appetite suppressant. Number two, drinking a lot of water helps the body to eliminate water at a faster rate, which ultimately results in weight loss. Number three, drinking water stimulates your body's metabolism. Four, drinking water helps reduce your body's overall calorie intake. Number five, adequate hydration promotes kidney function, flushes harmful bacteria from the urinary tract, and prevents kidney stones. And for a bonus tip, drinking water aids in keeping your skin looking bright. Let me say that again. Number six, drinking water aids in keeping your skin bright and radiant. Come on. Look, the water is doing my body well. <laughs> Number five, you're going to want to get into the habit of portion control. Practicing good portion control can be done by measuring and monitoring your food intake. In the beginning of your maintenance journey, I recommend using apps like MyFitnessPal. I use MyFitnessPal all the time, quite for, I use it every day. Like I cannot live without MyFitnessPal because I realize I cannot lean on me just, you know, measuring with my hand because I, look, I, I, I failed at it and I realized that I cannot lean on my own understanding or my own perception to say the least. With MyFitnessPal, um, you actually set your calorie goal for the day. Every time you log your meals, you'll be, able, you'll be able to see how many calories you have left. You'll also be able to look at your macros, like your fats, your carbs, your protein. If you want to be bougie and upgrade to the premium version, you can also look at how much sodium you're taking in, how much cholesterol you're taking in. But obviously, the macros are the most important in addition to keeping the calorie count within you know, your desired range. Number six, weigh yourself. I like to weigh myself every morning, bright and early, bright and early. I don't even like to get up that early, but I do it bright and early after I get up, after I get up, use the bathroom. It's my time to shine. I step on that scale and I wait for the scale to judge me and I step off and I think to myself, You've done good, don't mess this up. I find that weighing myself every morning keeps me on my toes and it prevents me from getting carried away after a cheat meal because it's very easy to do that. I'll tell you that. Number seven, exercise. I know you guys were waiting for this one. I know some people don't like the idea of exercise, but for the sake of maintaining your heart and weight loss, I'd say it's pretty necessary. Now, what it doesn't have to be is boring. There's so many ways to exercise without it feeling like exercise. You can skate, dance, hike, bike, run with a kite. Can... <laughs> no, but seriously, um, there's a lot of fun things that you can do, especially when it's warm outside, like tennis, volleyball. I love me a good game of volleyball. Oh my God. I. I'm short, so I gotta be in the back for the digs, but I like playing volleyball. You can also play basketball, um, badminton for the people who are fans of that. When I'm not lifting, I like to play volleyball with people who suck, so I feel good about myself. If you're new to working out and actually wanna work out, start with like 10 to 20 minute workouts and work your way from there. Over time, you'll notice that you'll have more stamina and naturally you're gonna want to work out longer than 20 minutes because you feel like you got a pump going and you want to keep it going until you truly feel, excuse me, until you feel really tired or just fatigued. But in that case, you're going to want to make sure that you do have a plan for those workouts that are a detailed workout plan for workouts that are more than 20 minutes long. Cause you don't want to be just at the gym, just using equipment, not knowing what you're targeting. But in the beginning, start small and work your way from there. It, it's going to get better, but you got to start somewhere. Don't put too much on yourself in the beginning. That's how people burn out, and I don't want that for you. Just stick with it. Start small. 
work your way from there and things will get better. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please leave your comments and questions in the description, in the comments section, not in the description box, but yes, I will also attach the articles in the description box that talk about the statistics on weight loss success. I mean, it's truly shocking, but at the end of the day, it does, it doesn't have to be you. You don't have to be one of those people. You can, Set yourself up to be in the minority. And I tell you, it feels good. Come on, join me. Join me. You're going to love it here. Thanks, guys. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.